Item number, SCP-582. Object class, Keter. Special containment procedures. Due to the high risk of memetic spread, all information and materials pertaining to the specifics of SCP-582 Delta's containment narrative, manifestations, abilities, and history that has been judged conducive to perpetuation of the meme are to be handled solely by Special Intelligence Team Bump in the Night, Security Chief Special Order 817-2. Access to Secure Archive 582 by outside personnel is permitted only by two-thirds majority O5 permission. All major internet search engines are to be monitored for any reference to SCP-582 under any of its known names. Copies of all media relating to SCP-582 are to be stored in Secure Archive 582. The original sources of these materials, and all records regarding the individuals responsible for the creation of such, are to be expunged, as outlined in Document 582-RP. Description SCP-582 is an adaptive, self-propagating meme in the form of an entity most often referred to as SCP-582's primary ability is passive reality modification. Any fictional account written about SCP-582 will become a factual record of a manifestation of the entity, in which SCP-582 will carry out all actions attributed to it in the narrative. These manifestations will happen at whatever time and place is specified. If no specific location or time is given, the manifestation will occur at any opportunity that will meet the narrative's criteria. Details attributed to SCP-582 are permanent and cumulative. If a narrative contains descriptions that contradict previously established details, it will either have no effect at all upon SCP-582, or the effect will be lessened to a point where such events could logically occur. Through this effect, SCP-582 has a consistent, if generalized, portrayal due to its use in works by multiple authors, both before and after its discovery by the Foundation. SCP-582's actual abilities with a narrative are generally nebulous and lacking in detail. The most common format of story involves the aftermath of a manifestation of SCP-582 or a short-lived encounter with SCP-582, rather than an explanation or justification of the events. What is known is that SCP-582 regularly appears capable of appearing or disappearing at any place or time and that no method of terminating or otherwise harming SCP-582 within any narrative has been successful. Addendum 1 Security Mimetic Rhinos Sometimes Forget The origin of SCP-582 may be traced to an obscure American author active during the 1940s and 50s. The original works containing SCP-582 were never published but were discovered by several close friends and fellow amateur writers upon the author's death in 1957, who then served as the original infection vector. was considered an overall subpar author, having only published four short stories in his life, all within now-defunct magazine. In addition, he was often criticized for lifting the style of Howard P. Lovecraft considerably, a stance backed up by his personal journals which detailed an obsession with Lovecraft's writing and the author himself. Furthermore, several earlier entries imply that SCP-582 was formed recursively, in that the author wrote a narrative detailing his own encounter with SCP-582 decades prior, which then led him to write the first narratives featuring SCP-582. Addendum 2 Security Mimetic The Harvest Moon Roars SCP-582's portrayal as a godlike entity has led to a collection of commonly featured avatars. SCP-582's actual form, if extant, has yet to be featured in any narrative. A list of notable manifestations of SCP-582 is as follows. Manifestation Alpha The most common instance of SCP-582 being a humanoid creature standing approximately 2 meters tall and wearing thickly layered robes, often compared to burlap. The figure is hooded, and no face is visible underneath. Common additional details include carrying sacks or bundles of unknown content, or the appearance of heavy bleeding. 
Manifestation Alpha is the least dangerous of SCP-582 manifestations, with death occurring in only 23% of instances. Manifestation Beta A hexapetal entity appearing to be made out of molten tar. Manifestation Beta will attempt to attack any nearby humans unprotected by certain preventative measures detailed in Document 58234. Manifestation Beta has on five occasions appeared at the same time as Manifestation Alpha, seemingly using Manifestation Alpha as a host or disguise. Manifestation Gamma A manifestation appearing as a 100-meter-wide plant-like entity, giving off an intense white light and substantial radiation. The strength of the radiation is unmeasured, but it is enough to be fatal to humans within 6 to 10 hours. Manifestation Gamma does not appear to take notice of any outside stimuli, and has on one occasion been observed growing out of or feeding off of Manifestation Beta. Manifestation Delta The manifestation in containment within the Foundation, appearing as a poorly defined humanoid shadow. Due to the nature of its containment narrative, Manifestation Delta is incapable of exiting its containment module or interacting with personnel. Manifestation Epsilon Revised 2005 Manifestation Epsilon is considered no longer canon after the events of Manifestation Event 201. Further information may be found in Document 582-201-B. Manifestation Zeta Manifestation Zeta exists within more than three dimensions, making it impossible to properly perceive by humans. Manifestation Zeta has only been encountered once. Manifestation Event 256 2010 Resulting in 358 deaths and a localized restructuring event. Manifestation Zeta Prime The post-metamorphosis form of Manifestation Zeta. The account involving Manifestation Zeta Prime was interrupted mid-narrative by Foundation personnel. Any further instances of Manifestation Zeta Prime are to be considered a continuation of XK Scenario 582-6B. Protocol 582-XK-1, Jonah and the Whale, is to be initiated immediately. Addendum 3 Security Mimetic Triple Shot Allotted In accordance with Security Chief Special Order 945, a segment of SCP-582's containment narrative has been included for illustrative purposes. What thoughts, if any, that flow through that alien mind are not mine to know. It remains silent and still within its chamber, entrenched in the persistence of its own memory. It remains, but only as a shade of what it was, its power spent, or at least come to rest. All personnel, please note, SCP-582 is a reaction. It has shown no signs of actual consciousness or free will. Everything it has ever said, done, or thought is because someone wrote that it would. Doctor Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-581, The Equestrian Soul, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.